Hi, Sean Seymour here, CEO of Supercars. Obviously, these are unprecedented times and they raise a lot of questions. So we've gone out and asked our fans what the top 20 questions are that they have, and hopefully I can give you some answers today. Look, if you've already got a ticket to an existing round that's been postponed, you can either hold on to that ticket for when the event's rescheduled or request a full refund. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, Bathurst is a, a priority for us and, and keeping that date and keeping that event. If you do go ahead and purchase a campsite or any ticket for that matter, and for unforeseen circumstances, we do need to postpone or change that event, then absolutely you'll be entitled to a refund. Our number one priority with the E-Series is to fill the gap between now and when we go racing again. We're currently planning to conduct 10 rounds utilising our existing drivers from the comfort of their home. Obviously the, the virus and the delays are difficult for everybody, our, spa, our partners, our staff, uh, our sponsors and our teams, but we're a very entrepreneurial bunch and, and we know how to survive. Chloe, I think your question relates to marshals and other volunteers that have uh, given up their time to participate in events that have now been postponed. Uh, I suggest that you get in touch with our volunteer team. If you're still keen to go ahead and volunteer at one of the postponed events, we'd be more than happy to have you. We did go through a, a very detailed process of considering to run the three postponed events as TV only events. Um, two reasons we decided not to do it. The first is that government restrictions are changing on a daily basis. Uh, we weren't going to be able to get into New Zealand anyway. We anticipated that uh, Tasmania might go to stricter travel uh, requirements, which they have now put in place today. So with Auckland and Tasmania both having those uh, plans imposed upon them, we felt like that was going to get taken out of our hands anyway. But furthermore, we've got quite a lot of staff in a confined space at Pit Lane. When you layer in the teams, the TV production requirements, volunteers, uh, security, um, we start to quickly get over that 500 number and it was a risk that we didn't want to take. That's a good question. I think it's uh, difficult to predict that at this point in time. Uh, obviously, Australia is a smaller market than, than the bigger markets that the video game developers work, for, work on and work for. Um, their priority will always be big markets like the US and Japan, uh, but never say never. We're just going through a process right now of making sure that all the drivers have the available hardware and connectivity to be able to participate. But all of the feedback that we've had from the teams uh, to date and over the past 48 hours is that their drivers are keen to participate. So we expect uh, a full grid. No, the, the new manufacturers that we're talking to are focused on 2022 and uh, We'll, we'll update people what those conversations look like as part of the Gen 3 process. Yes, Peter, that's exactly the plan. We're looking to postpone the existing rounds with minimal disruption to any other activity that we already have planned. Obviously, key events like Bathurst, Gold Coast, Newcastle require significant setup times. So our ambition is to minimise any disruption to those key events and not move those dates. And you can expect an updated calendar in a couple of weeks. Absolutely, we're focused on making sure that we're running Bathurst this year. Dale, the Gen 3 program will continue. Obviously, that was a long-term program for us. Uh, the team are continuing to meet. There's another meeting next week, so they'll continue on as planned. Uh, when will the rules be finalised? Obviously, we need to start uh, prepping soon. I would anticipate uh, that they'll be done sometime between now and the end of the year. We're working with the teams and their partners and their sponsors and talking to them on a daily basis. A big part of uh, keeping the sport going is keeping the sport relevant through this time, making sure that we're still producing content and entertaining people. That's why we've focused so much on getting that E-Series out and we're very fortunate that we've got the docu-series coming out on Erebus as well. Uh, that's something that 
the Commission will have to decide. I think it would be premature to crown the champion uh, based on one race meeting. However, uh, the Commission will pick that up should we have to contemplate that. That's a good question. Obviously, our preference is not to be changing Taylor Men, Bathurst or Gold Coast, and they will be uh, the very last events to be moved should we need to. We're obviously talking to the management of all the racetracks in Australia as part of the calendar uh, changes that we're making. And that includes discussions with Phillip Island, but it would be too early to speculate exactly which tracks will be in as part of the rescheduled calendar. Yeah, absolutely. Our priority is that to have minimum disruption to the events that haven't been postponed. So what we're looking to do is find a new date for the events that have been postponed without having to change any of the other plans for the back half of the year because we are conscious that our fans, our partners and volunteers have already made plans around those dates. The windscreen numbers changed side this year so that we were able to include the LED screens in the front of the car and on the sides of the car. Uh, we wanted those LED screens there to provide more information to fans at the track and at home as to what was going on and what positions the cars were in. Unfortunately, those panels were coming out of China so they've been delayed. We'll do whatever we have to do to get the 14 rounds away. The teams and, and everyone here at Supercars is committed to that. Roland and the guys at Triple Eight have already let us know that that's the case. I think the reality is when that event's rescheduled and we rerun that, um, it, it'll be a different format. So it's likely that we'll be practicing and qualifying. Again.